I'm Garrett Dirkmont. I'm one of the chapter authors of the book, The Council of Fifty, What the Records Reveal About Mormon History. The Council of Fifty was an organization formed by Joseph Smith just shortly before he was murdered. And its purpose was several fold, but one of them was to help bring about the political kingdom of God on earth at the same time that the church was trying to bring about the religious kingdom of God on earth. The Joseph Smith Papers recently published the entire record of the Council of Fifty from Nauvoo. It's a massive book uh, with all kinds of interesting things in it, but it's just so much that it's hard for the average person to be able to digest. What this book does is it takes the important themes that come out of this new record and it helps uh, people understand what's important about the council. What do I learn from this book about the council? How do I understand better Mormon history or Joseph Smith or the move west by these individual chapters that are in the book? I think the average member of the church who, who doesn't uh, have time to, to read all the things that are in the minutes, they'll get a better understanding of why the church left Nauvoo when it did, how they left, what worries they had as they were leaving, the real fears they had for their families and for uh, the, the, the continuation of the church uh, amidst all this persecution. Even for uh, those who are just looking for, I'd like to know a little bit more about what Joseph might have said, what Brigham might have thought, that's also in this book. Ways to understand these, these founders of, of the faith in a better light, and I think in a way that can help us individually have more compassion upon other people, uh, be more willing to, to show mercy instead of judgment.